Hey everyone, I'm Cario DeFalco and this week in the Cucina we are making pasta with chicken and capers. favorite of mine from high school. I was hanging out at a girlfriend's house one day and her mom made this for us for lunch. I loved it so much that I made my mom call her mom and get the recipe and now I'm sharing it with you. We start with about a pound to a pound and a half of chicken breast that we're going to cube up, one small onion chopped and three cloves of garlic minced. We're going to season the chicken with some salt and pepper, toss that up. I've got two tablespoons of butter heating up in the pan. We're going to start cooking our onions and I've got my pasta pot up with a little bit of water going. We're going to cook up some rigatoni. With this dish, you want to use a big wide pasta like a rigatoni. You know, the shape of the pasta has a purpose. So for this, we want something that's going to be able to catch the capers and the pieces of chicken as well as some big pieces of tomato. So you get a little bit of everything in the bite. After your onions have cooked for about three minutes, you're going to add in your garlic. After your garlic's cooked for about a minute, we're going to add in those chicken pieces and let them sear. Our chicken's cooked, we have some nice beautiful brown spots in our pan, so we're going to take the chicken out and just set it aside in a bowl. So now we have all these nice browned bits in our pan and we want this, this is all flavor. So we're gonna use a third a cup of red wine to deglaze the pan and kind of scrape all of this off of here. Now that we've scraped up all that deliciousness, we are gonna add in one 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. And we're gonna add in two teaspoons of capers. We're gonna let this all cook together for about 15 minutes. Our sauce has been cooking, those flavors are coming together, and now we're gonna finish it off with a half cup of heavy cream. We're gonna add back in our chicken and onions and let that heat up again for about five minutes. Finally, we're gonna add in our pasta, some fresh parsley, and a big handful of Parmesan cheese. There you go, whole meal in one dish. That is it for this week in the Cucina. I'll see you guys next time. Bon appetit.